day four on Dana's adventure on the road again. It's breakfast time in the van. Chef Wallace cooking up a storm. What's on today? Pancakes, peanut butter and jam. They're looking good, looking good. Oh, we're going for a flip. Expertly, look at that. That's pretty good. I'm gonna start off with a peanut butter, pure and simple. No, they're good. Yeah? Very well done. We had a quick stop in Mariba. Um, it was more of a town, there wasn't too much to do, so we found a visitor centre, we planned the day. So we've got lots to do, lots to see. Um, first stop is Emerald Creek, is that it? Yeah, so Emerald Creek Falls. Looks quite good. I don't know if we're classed as a uh, caravan or not. I think we're more of a camper van, but it said there was a sign that said no caravans on this road. Uh, it's a dirt track for was it eight kilometres? About eight kilometres. So currently it's pretty slow progress as we're driving along on this. Nearly there, but it's pretty bumpy. <laughs> so we survived the bone rattling drive. Quick wardrobe change, just in case there's uh, any swimming opportunities. I've been swimming every day so far, so uh, might as well keep up the trend. I can actually hear it already, can you hear it? Yeah. So yeah, it can't be too far a walk. There's only like three other cars here, so it's not very busy, although I'm not surprised with the dirt road track that we had to come on the way up up here on but yeah let's check it out turns out it's much more of a hard walk than we thought it'd be especially in this heat uphill we are getting closer the noise is getting louder it means we must be going in the right direction i can't wait to swim so we're at the waterfall our plan is to get over to, so if you can sit there, that sort of swimming bit there. Don't know if it'll work or not, but I think we're gonna go down here, along, and across there. So yeah, wish us luck. Well, we're halfway there, in the middle of the waterfall at the moment. Still a little way to go, still alive. Should be some pretty good views over there when we get there. So we made it in one piece. Time to get in the cool water. See how cold it really is. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, no, yeah. Get deeper, <laughs> it does get colder. to some other uh, road trippers and they said that there's a massive like swimming pool area and a big waterfall at the top of this one so we're gonna go grab our stuff come up to the top and see what they're talking about we found the pool and the little waterfall that he was talking about it's pretty good probably better than the last one check it out so you've got a couple of waterfalls behind here, which leads down to the main one, and look at that view. But now it's finally time to have a proper swim. down safely. I'm gonna go back to the van, have some lunch, see what Chef Wallace has got on the menu. 
and then uh, on to the next place. Absolutely knackered. This table is covered in ants. Gross. So I'm absolutely knackered from the uh, mountain climb earlier to get to the waterfall, but it was worth it. It was good. Um, so now we're at Lake Tinaru, which is probably the most Australian name I've ever heard. Um, yeah, it's pretty quiet. There's some people playing frisbee, but about that, not much going on. But yeah, just gonna have a quick look around the lake, and then probably on to our next place or campsite for the night. Huge lake, I can't believe how the size of it like seems like it's probably as big as county back in England. It makes you realize how big Australia really is. All day I've had sun cream in my eye, it's really starting to annoy me now. But I'm um, gonna sh soldier on, shoulder on, and get to the next place, get to the campsite, and then we're done for day four. Kaira. 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 Anyway, so we're in Kaira or Kaira or Kaira, I don't know, but either way, we've found our campsite for the night. It's a free one, which is good, although there's not a shower and I really need a shower, but I'll save that to somewhere in the morning. Better part is that the fact that there's a pub or a hotel about 20 meters away, if that. I can basically see inside the pub from the, from the van here. So I think that's definitely our next stop and we'll hole up there for a few hours. And that's pretty much it for day four. Yeah. 